Okay, question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. It's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. We give state dinners to the heads of China. I say, why are you doing state dinners for them? They're ripping us left and right. Just take them to McDonald's and go back to the negotiating table. Seriously. It's true. Okay. I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. You know, last night, I called Hillary a nasty woman. But this stuff is all relative. After listening to Hillary rattle on and on and on, I don't think so badly of Rosie O'Donnell anymore. In fact, I'm actually starting to like Rosie a lot. It's up to him. Do you want him to rein in Robert Mueller? What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. Since you're a taxi, and then can I ask you a question? John Roberts, go ahead, John. No, no. John Roberts, go ahead. CNN's fake news. I don't well, take sir, questions. I don't take questions from CNN. Question. CNN is fake news. I don't take questions from CNN. John Roberts of Fox. Let's go to a real. Let's go to a real network. Your campaign had an ad showing migrants climbing over walls and well, so on. Well, that's true. It, it, but they it, weren't actors. They're not going to be doing they that. They weren't actors. They're hundreds of miles away, though. They're hundreds and hundreds of miles you know away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let me would be ask, much better. If I may ask one. Question. Mr. President, if I may, if I may ask Peter, one other question, ahead. are you worried? Of That's enough. That's no, enough. Mr. President, I, well, That's I was enough. going to ask one other. We are alarmed by the new calls to adopt socialism in our country. America was founded on liberty and independence and not government coercion, domination, and control. We are born free and we will stay free. It's great to be here with a thousand wonderful people, or as I call it, a small, intimate dinner with some friends, or as Hillary calls it, her largest crowd of the season. His visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly, my goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? And would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear Jake, arsenal? Jake, the Mr. Trump. I never attacked him on his look. And believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. <laughs> that I can tell you. But Jake, why is this uh, such a big topic for you right now? Well, immigration's a very big topic. Take a look at all the crime that's being committed. Go take a look at it. The look, research I'm says the crime, is, the crime is that does not match yeah, what you're saying. The research, research, the Pew Research, which is oh, independent, Eddie, says... Don't be naive. You're a very naive person. <laughs> the Pew you're Research a... says that there are, uh, for immigrants on the whole, create... Or, Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Go ahead. I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude,
terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. In, in, go in ahead, Jim, Peter. Go in, ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, his I'm not a big fan of yours either. So I you know, understand. To be honest, so let me- he's woefully unprepared uh, to do this job. What say you? I think he's the worst president maybe in the history of our country. I think he's been a disaster. He's been weak. He's been ineffective. I know Hillary met my campaign manager, and I got the chance to meet the people who are working so hard to get her elected. There they are, the heads of NBC, (laughs) CNN, CBS, ABC, There's the New York Times right over there and the Washington Post. They're working overtime. True. True. Mr. President, you repeatedly, over the course of the... Okay, just sit down, please. Well, when when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. Since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go Since ahead. you're no, Mr. President elect. Go Mr. ahead. Mr. President elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization you're, you are is attacking our news organization. Your organization can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state can, Quiet. Mr. President elect? Go ahead. Can you state categorically She's a question. Don't Mr. Be President elect, can you give us a question? Don't be you're rude. attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? I'm not going to give you a question. Can you state categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. Can you But one of the things I noticed tonight, and I've known Hillary for a long time, is this is the first time ever, ever, that Hillary is sitting down and speaking to major corporate leaders and not getting paid for it. (laughs) Why not sign the other bills, though, so some of these workers can get paid, the government can get paid? You think I should do that? Yeah, you, 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 no, no, you, do you think I should do that, well, John? I mean, it's not for me and to I say that. I want your one-sided reporting. Do you think I should do that? It's, 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 John, it's no, not seriously, my decision. John, do you think I should just sign? Well, the, the argument no, no, has been me, made that me. you can sign these bills that have nothing to do with John, border security. do you think I should just sign? And, I, I, I'm saying that if you sign that, these workers can start getting paid. Uh, the government can so start working. So you would do that if you were in my position. You'd do that. I, I'm not in your position. I'm asking you if you've got something you I'm asking do. you, would you do that if you were in my position? I, 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 if you would do that, you should never be in this position. <laughs> because you'd never get anything done. Virtually everywhere socialism or communism has been tried. It has produced suffering, corruption, and decay. Socialism's thirst for power leads to expansion, incursion, and oppression. All nations of the world should resist socialism and the misery that it brings to everyone. Mr. Trump, take 30 seconds. Let let me just, you know, he wants to be a tough guy. A lot of times, you'll have, you'll have, and and it doesn't work very well with How tough is it to take property from an elderly woman? Let me talk, quiet. How tough is it? A lot of times, a lot of times, that's all of his donors and special interests. Have. 